Hi, my name is Robert Stewart, and today Miss Natalie Futrell, who is behind the camera, and I are going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you uh, in preparation for our upcoming musical, Matilda. And um, I play the role of Miss Trunchbull. So we thought it might be fun for you to see how Miss Trunchbull per, uh, does her transformation. So today I thought I would show you that transformation. I'm wearing a um, Hawaiian shirt that is buttoned down, aloha, because when I take off my makeup and put my costume on, it's a lot easier to take off this shirt than pulling something up over my head, which might mess up the makeup. Um, I use, I don't have a lot of hair, but I have to wear a wig in this show, so I wear a wig cap. I don't like to spend money on wig caps, and so I buy these knee highs, and all I do is I cut them, because they're, otherwise they'll, they're tight, and, and they will squeeze your brain, and you will faint. So I cut them, and then I just stretch them, and I stick them over my head, and it takes a little while. If you had long hair, you might have to pin curl your hair, which is pinning it so it will take, it'll lay flat on your head, or lie flat on your head so you don't see bumps under your wigs. But there's a wig that I wear, which is over here, and so you can see that I kind of make my hairline kind of match that. Now, I do have sideburns, um, I didn't want to cut them today until showtime, so I might have to cut those. Then I take this funky thing, which is the upper part of the knee high, and I just shove it under the back of my head. So everything is there. And then we wear microphones, and the microphones usually go underneath the wig cap. But I'm sharing a microphone in this show, so my microphone is actually going to go above my wig cap and then my wig will go on. So the first thing you wanna do, and I did this, is I cleaned my face. And I don't have anything on my face. I have no oils or anything like that. I did shave. Um, Miss Trunchbull is a woman. Everybody asks, well, is she a drag queen? No, she's a woman, she's just played by a man. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cover any kind of blemishes that I had. Like if I had a tattoo on my face, I would cover it with this. This is called tattoo cover. And it also, it's really thick. It'll also cover your uh, five o'clock shadow. I have a little bit here naturally. So you'll see, I just kind of shove it on there. It goes on real thick. Then the most important thing is you have to powder. You have to set this. Now you can do it with a brush or you can do it with like a puff. And I'm sad that this, this is just color set neutral translucent powder. It's translucent, not neutral. It doesn't have a, a good powder puff. So this is what they call beat the mug. And you are gonna beat the mug. You cannot put too much of this on, okay? So don't fan it. You're gonna put it all over you. It makes a mess. But you're just gonna keep beating it. And you can see that then you can take a brush and you can brush some of it off. So now the next step is she's not that white. She's not that. So I'm going to take a base. A base is just another name for foundation. You can have it um, in liquid. This is just something over the counter. Um, that you can buy like a Target, or you can buy cream stick. This is from Mayron, and I like to use this. So I'm just gonna kind of dab it on my skin, and it's just a tone darker. Okay, you can kind of see it's different. I, I did put some here, but it is slightly different. Now I'll do the other side. Now, a lot of people do something in the end, theater and in everyday life called contouring, where they will take different colors of shadows or, or ba uh, foundation, which we call base sometimes in theater. They'll, they'll really contour their face. That gives it depth and dimension. You can see right now, like 
I'm not doing my, see how I didn't do the eye? So you can see the color variation. I will go over it, but just wanted you to see that there's a lot of makeup on my face. So now I gotta go back and powder to set this. You'll be amazed how, and I really hit it hard, because that gets it in there and it gets the powder into all the crevices of your face. And I, being old, have a lot of crevices in my face. Now, Miss Trunchbull, we think, from the way we're doing this show, I'm, I'm putting her like 62. Uh, so she's not super old, uh, but she's got some lines on her. So I lied to you, and I said I wasn't going to contour. But I think I might. So I've got this liquid base, foundation, called, I don't know what it's called. First of all, I can't pronounce it. Octinoxate sunscreen. Oh, dewy and smooth. Normal to dry. I don't know what color it is, but I'm going to see what it looks like. The next thing we're going to do is this, this old broad's got some lines on her. So we're just going to draw lines on her forehead. Um, my my cap's slipping. Um, where are lines on your forehead? Well, the easiest way to find a line on your forehead is to raise your eyebrows. I got tons. I got tons. So um, I'm going to find those lines, and I'm just going to use a brown eyebrow pencil. You can use um, cream makeup like this with a brush, but I've got this and it tends to work pretty well. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm going to draw lines. And now I'm not gonna draw them straight across my face. Because if I do, it looks like a railroad track. And that'll look funny. So I'm just gonna take some of the big ones and follow them. Like that. Okay. Now, I've got some here, but I'm not going to do this this um, anger line because something's going to happen in a minute. But I also have uh, lines here. Now, some people will call these frown lines or smile lines right here. And those are good. I mean, Miss Trunchbull does smile. Uh, she also frowns. This little place here above your uh, above your lip, you can do that a little bit. Um, if I do this, I have a lot of jowls. So what I would do there is I would actually come in here and I would shade it. I'd also do my chin. Uh, now. The next thing I want to do is her eyes. Her eyes, um, I've been playing around with this. I, I did grays and browns. What we want to do is make her seem tired. We want to make her seem angry. We want to make her seem um, really unhappy. She's a very unhappy person. So um, one thing I like to do is use plain old shadow to make that happen. So I'm going to take a shadow brush um, and I'm going to find some browns, not, not shimmery, but mix some browns and go under my eyes to make dark circles. She does not wear eyeshadow. She probably does not um, wear eyeliner. But we want her eye to kind of go back in a little bit. And there's this great stuff, if I can open it. It's cake liner, eye, cake eyeliner. And all you do is you put a little water on your brush, and a small angled brush. You dip it in here. And you can do it for eyeliner. So I'm going to do it for eyeliner just to show you what it does. Um, even though she doesn't wear a lot of eye stuff, um, I'm going to put a little light brown above her 
eye just so it doesn't look like um, th that it blends more so it doesn't look too shocking let's take highlight and highlight underneath this sag to kind of bring it out a little bit and you'll see when I do that we can just blend it a little now wherever you shade typically you highlight because you want don't you don't want to make it look like just a bunch of dark lines on your face so I'm going to clean out my brush and I'm gonna take highlight and everywhere that I drew a dark line I'm going to put above and below it a highlight line and then when I blend it it'll look more natural so I'm gonna start with my lines you want to do the bridge of your nose too because that's hard that's cartilage so basically what you're doing is you're highlighting wherever you have a hard part on you like above your eyebrow that's hard so you want to highlight that I'm holding off on that because what we're gonna to do to the eyebrows another hard part is your cheek so you saw how I put some highlight there before you can do that then if I was trying to look pretty I would put blush there because that's a, a bone it's a peak um, and what we're doing here with Trunchbull is we're not making Trunchbull up we're making Trunchbull look like Trunchbull in, in theater everybody has to wear makeup on stage because the lights are so bright so we just want you to look like you we're not adding makeup on you to make you look comical or different. We just want to make it look like you. So if I then, let's say, Miss Trunchbull was going to a party, I would then add some crazy makeup, like some red lipstick. But Miss Trunchbull would never, ever wear red lipstick. And then we're going to do the unibrow. All right, so now this glorious woman, I think I might just use this somehow. She um, has to put, I have to, I have to draw on brows in the center. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that with this. We'll see. So I applied some unibrow onto Miss Trunchbull. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that white, that highlight I talked about, because remember you want to highlight bones, but I didn't want to do that because I was highlight, I was drawn in this big old caterpillar on my face. So I'm still going to go above that and highlight it so it doesn't look, so it looks more natural. It looks like something's supposed to be there. I'm also going to line my lips. She doesn't wear lipstick. I, I don't think she does. So, but if, if I don't, then you don't really see my lips. And she's not a smoker, but I don't think she like puts a lot of lotions on her face. So I think she gets dried out a lot. So I kind of see some crusty lines, you know, when dry up a little bit. We're going to beat the mug with the powder. <laughs> we have to be careful of this um, unibrow. <laughs> I'm tapping, 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 tapping. I'm not rubbing. Then we're going to add... Ew, what's the end of my nose? Oh, we gotta add the stuff on the end of my nose. Oh, she's kinda looks, she's looking a little beastly. She does like someone you wanna take home to mama. All right. Mia's trench bowl. She, um, she's had some skin conditions in her day. And she has moles. And she never cut her moles, and the reason she never cut them is she would probably bleed to death. And she don't want to bleed to death, because she wants to be around 
to cause havoc. So um, we're going to attach some moles. And I've decided that her moles are going to be on her chin and on the side of her nose in opposite areas. So there's this um, stuff called liquid latex and I just poured it out on a, sh like on a, what did I put it on? Oh, it was like on a um, plate. I used like a Corel plate, not a paper plate. You could do it on glass too. Pour it on and it's just a thin layer and it dries. And when it dries and you pull it up, it sticks to itself. So I took little squares, I cut it and I just rolled them up and made a bunch of gross little moles. Now they're sticking together, but I have baby powder on them. And then what I do is right before I put them on, I will paint them, but I'll just use makeup. And I already did that. These are reused. I'm reusing some. Um, cause otherwise. Now this latex, I'm gonna stick a mole here. Latex smells awful, awful. That's a lot of latex. And what I did is I went and cut them so they would have a flat bottom so they would adhere because otherwise I was afraid, well, you know, I was afraid that they may not adhere to my face. And there's, I am wanting so bad for one of these to have a hair coming out of it. So I found some wire. And I really, not that anybody's gonna see it, but some kid on stage might, and that'd be cool. So those will stay on. Then the last thing, this might, this one might fall, I need to hold it a little bit. You have to be real patient. These are the last things you put on. And if you talk to the people who played this role before, or anybody who's used moles, sometimes they shift during the show and they go to different places. So, Miss Trunchbull. Miss Trunchbull has an eating habit. She loves chocolate. She eats chocolate all the time. It's a big thing in the play about somebody eating her chocolate cake. She's always, always, always finding other people eating her stuff. So, her teeth, oh, look. That, it went, it went down. Um, my um, mole came off. Uh, so I'll stick another mole on. Uh, she uh, obviously has perfect teeth, but that doesn't happen when you're eating all the time. So we have to make her teeth look pretty mangled. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna dry our teeth. And then we are going to up a lie what is called tooth enamel. Tooth enamel is just like, it's painted on, this is called a coffee stain or nicotine. Yeah, nicotine. So it would look like what would happen to your teeth if you did a lot of smoking or you had really bad teeth. So you just kind of paint it on your dry teeth. And then I like to add some black, like some of these teeth got rotted. Now, we're gonna do her wig. We have a wonderful wig master named Molly Weller, and she designed the wig after the wig on Broadway. It has a lot of pins in it. And then I gave her some shoelaces because I thought it would be funny if her bun was done. Tied up that way. Now, you always put a wig on from the front. Now on Broadway, you're not allowed to touch your wig. You have a wig, the wig master helps you, but I'm gonna try to do this myself. 
you can see it has little areas that are sticking up. That's the lace. I will have to shave my sideburns because they're coming out. You can see that. So I will shave those closer to showtime. And then we have to glue the wig down. So we use something called, that we all have seen, got to be glued. And you glue it on and then it will disappear. And, now, and, and then you'll see right here, you'll see the microphone because the microphone will come through. But that is Miss Agatha Trunchbull. She is taking stage maggots. Maggots! All of you. Dang Jenny. Miss Natalie. She's doing an adequate job. Maggots, all of you. Remember? Remember. What is our school motto, Miss Honey? Bumba not to Miss Maggito. Children are Matilda Wormwood. Oh, and that Bruce Bogtrotter. Bruce Bogtrotter, he stole my cake. My teeth would be falling out even more if it wasn't for Bruce Bogtrotter. So, get out! Get out! Thank you for watching today. We hope you enjoyed seeing a, a little bit of makeup transformation from actor to cruel Miss Trunchbull. And we hope that you will stay tuned, keep watching, because we are bringing Matilda the Musical, a Tallahassee premiere, to Tallahassee. We will defeat coronavirus. But you have to stay tuned because we want you all in the audience safe and sound so you can see the cast of Matilda the Musical at Young Actors Theatre.